This has become the prime event of the Broom Creek Show and it features the Broom Creek Bulls against the Nugent Roosters. We got a lawnmower off our friend and we got a motorbike and cut it in half, put the motor in the lawnmower and we started bringing grazing. Um, it's, a bit, it's a bit rough. So this town, Copping, Brim Creek, Marion Bay and Denali, they're all for our mower. Uh, but if you go up to Nugent, those boys, they can't stand us. We started off with a footy game between the two communities and then they thought we'd better have a mower race because they couldn't beat us at footy and they still can't beat us at racing mowers. Me and my mate Brody have raced for the last four years in a row. We haven't lost, we're undefeated. But it uh, turns out he's got a wedding to go to this weekend, so I've had to sub in one of my mates. He's going to take his place, and uh, hopefully we can lead it to victory for another year. You're going to have a bit going on. If we don't win, you are going to have a bit going on. Every year we don't work on it at all until about a week before the mower race. Uh, it turns out we went to have a trial run this afternoon, and we've broken part of it. Uh, it's about 9 p.m. Um, we've had some technical difficulties with the lawnmower, but we'll go back and just work late into the night to get it going again. Go! Decide this the game you want to play, want to play. We worked into the uh, early hours of the morning to uh, fix our little mechanical issue. Um, we rocked up here this morning and found out that Nugent have had the same mechanical issues with their normal machine, but they've found a new backup, a mammoth John Deere mower, so the task is definitely still on. It's, it's exactly the same as any, you know, lawn mower you buy off a, off a shelf, it's just a little bit bigger and faster. <laughs> Captain and mad scientist mechanic has let us down once again. Shame the whole community. We're going to have to come back next year and beat it bigger and better. We're up here today at the Nugent Roosters workshop. Tomorrow I'll be one of the drivers at the show on the mower. So we've developed this mower a little bit different this year. Some of the parts have actually come from my son's um, go-kart buggy. Also in the front of the mower as a counterweight, we'll have a Australian Esky um, with some beverages in it for after the race. Nugent's in the um, southeast of Tasmania, um, our own little corner down here. It is a small community with roughly around 100 people here. We needed something to attract people to fundraise for our local community hall. One of them that's worked very well for us is the Mouse Cup, um, the race that stops Nugent. Um, it's run very much in uh, a similar format to Melbourne Cup with red carpet events um, and auctions of mice, etc. on the night. Rivalry, I guess, with these communities goes back probably five to six generations at least. Um, they once competed in football and cricket matches um, and I guess now it's built to our generation doing a mole race at the show. Yeah, look, it's been a year since the last race. I've managed to have a kid. Uh, Brody's managed to do a bit of maintenance on the mower. He's uh, given her a good coat of paint. Really, that's about all he's done to it, though, to be honest. Uh, if we lose tomorrow, we're going to have to hide our faces until the next race, because the community just aren't going to want to see us around. I think it was a bit unfair that they brought in... It was pretty much a tractor. I wouldn't say it was a lawnmower. Um, they didn't modify it. They just got it off a friend. It wasn't even theirs, and then won the race. So, uh, yeah, Choppy's definitely the other half to the um, Nugent Brewster's team, and um, he's going to be a lot to do with our success down here today. So we've got a bit of inspiration from the rooster here today. He's our mascot. 
he's an attacker like we are. Yeah, so yep. What I've done is we put an older rooster in to keep him under control. Yeah, right. Does he drink a lot of beer? <laughs> We're feeling pretty, pretty good, aren't we? All over it. Yeah. We're gonna flog him. It feels beautiful. It feels good. Well done, Mark. Done well. Good Excellent. six years. Yep. So the flying emus turned up and they were a bunch of about eight-year-old kids <laughs> with no motor. They went pretty well. I think they actually beat Nugent. We're the flying emus and next year we're going to come back and win. How are you going to win? With a motor. We're not worried about the flying emus next year. Not one bit, are we, bro? No.